Sir, in the next question, Devashmita Banerjee from the PGPEM course asks, how is India going to balance the trade-off between sustainability and infrastructure advancement? In a related question, from Vivek Jyoti, an alumnus of IIM Bangalore, where do you see India's governance policies on circular economy? Historically and civilizationally, we as a nation have never believed in reckless exploitation of natural resources. That has never been our culture. Development and environment protection are not paradoxical expressions. It is essential to prioritize sustainable infrastructure projects that minimize harm to the people at large, to living beings at large, to the ecosystem. Sustainable development, according to me, is not an option. It is imperative. It is an inescapable that we have it. Sustainable development alone can provide wholesome environment for containing the climate change problems we are having. And that has to be done in a manner. Every human being on the planet must be sensitive to use of natural resources. Natural resources are not available to an individual because the individual can afford. No. An individual may fiscally afford natural resources, like he can use his vehicle recklessly as he or she may like, water. But there has to be an emphasis that you are a trustee of natural resources. Your use of those natural resources must be guided by the principle of optimal utilization of those natural resources. You must use only as much as is essential, as is absolutely essential. Going beyond that would be antithetical to the very concept of survival of the planet and sustainable development. If we start using natural resources recklessly because our pocket can afford it, then we are compromising the future generation's welfare. And that, I think, uh, should not be there. Sir, the following question is from Srinath Honnavalli, an alumnus of IIM Bangalore. How do private healthcare institutions help in building the health structure, healthcare infrastructure of public goods? In a related question, sir, Chandrasekhar Red DC, an alumnus of IIM Bangalore, asks, what improvements are being considered in the area of public policies to improve the healthcare ecosystem in our country to address the economically weaker section? Narasimhaya Srinivasaya, also an alumnus of IIM Bangalore, has also requested to know about the steps taken by the government for cancer care in India. I'll give you an illustration. In 1988, my father had a heart problem and he was taken to the United Kingdom because we did not have bypass surgery facility in our country, 88. Look at the scene now. The facilities are available everywhere. And look at the scenario. People from other countries are flocking to this country to get medical treatment. If you look at map of Bharat, you'll find in every area super specialty hospitals. You will find chain of hospitals. And you will also find that private sector has commendably performed in this area. Now, this is on account of three reasons. One, the governmental policies are such that there is natural growth in the health sector. Take, for example, Ayushman Bharat. The facility available to deserving persons of treatment was unthinkable. And this facility is available in a manner that you can avail it anywhere. Now, this has resulted in growth of medical colleges, growth of nursing colleges, growth of paramedical courses. And we have now in our country a fleet of trained doctors, 
ट्रेंड नर्सेज हाईली क्वालिफाइड पैरामेडिकल स्टाफ एंड द बेस्ट ऑफ इक्विपमेंट सो वी आर नेक्स्ट टू नन वेन इट कम्स टू ट्रीटमेंट दिस हैज बिन डन ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ गवर्नमेंटल पॉलिसीज देन देर आर सर्टन इश्यूज लाइक द कैंसर देर वॉज अ टाइम वेन we talk of cancer or dialysis there was panic in the family in the friends what will happen government has taken steps to alleviate the miseries of the people in this sector and to ensure that they are fiscally not ruined and those steps are to be seen for everyone so that change has taken place now health sector along with the education sector is also providing a new avenue a new vista for people contributing so we have all over the country now a growth of hospitals nursing homes that the people at large are benefiting from